Hey guys, Gracient here, and welcome to Let's Play Lotro Lore Master. Now I'm going to show you a little bit about the Lore Master as I play. You get to know some strategies and stuff. I just started him over, so I'm at level 3 right now in the starting area. I'm just about to defeat some wolves and get rid of this stupid guy up here. You'll see. No, remember, burning embers is your good slow, so use your slow and kite around. Although, technically, you don't need to kite these around. I'm not, just because these enemies are just really pathetic. Alright, guys, I'm just about to defeat the Wolfmaster because I just completed the quest. So let's do this. Bring it on. <laughs> he laughs when my crow gets stunned. Alright, I'm on my way to turn in these two quests. The wolf master. How can you say this? Now, in the in the intro area, I always skip the unnecessary quests. In fact, I can skip the unnecessary quests anywhere in the game, to be honest, because I like to go top speed leveling. So, let's go on over there. All right, just off the top, we just picked up two quests. One is I'm sorry, not quest skills. Well, Inner flame. This is a self heal. I'm just gonna throw this anywhere. And the other one's a buff for your pet. And you're gonna get two buffs. One pretty soon here. Whoa, I was supposed to get that level up on videotape, but whatever. I'm almost done with the intro area now. <gasps> Right, I'm on the final battle here. We must save Ned. Our jet must still be saved. I knew you would survive. Right, we finished the intro quest. Greetings. Would you do something for me? I'd mark the place as home. Oh my god, if I can click on it. Wow. And this is something a lot of people forget to do when they come in here is... Oh wait, well I didn't mean besides equipping this. Dies are useless. Open your bag. There's two quests in your bag. Pick those up. Get rid of the other dies. Then you can go to this guy right here. What do you need? And finish a message of thanks. Stay a moment. And then you can go and barter item. Status. And since I'm a lore master, I'm gonna need nothing but health potions for this one. You don't really need power potions for a lore master, not really. Not this low level. Will you help me? How can I be of service? Well, you can help me level. Duh. Alright, don't get to go to your trainer every chance you get. Should go to your trainer. I think you should have the second buff what by can now. I do for you? Yep, sign of the wild. There's your second pet buff. And then you got this little debuff here. I'm gonna put staff at the start. <laughs> I 
What that does is that stuns them for a little bit. And unlike me, don't forget to... Whoa. Don't forget to put your pet buffs up. Later on, if you trade for it, you can actually get two of them at one at once. Oh, uh, noise you just heard with the arrows, that means flank. I means you can use this skill right here. Sign up battle, wizard's pyre, and it'll give you a small heal. Well, actually, it's kind of large. It's actually a decent heal. Oh yeah, I missed the next flank as well, so I didn't get a heal from that. Maybe next time. And of course, don't forget to look up writing. Just type the word writing in the search box in the literal store and get your writing skill. Unless you're VIP, then I'd recommend you wait till level 20. Even though it might be unbearably a pain in the ass just to wait for it. But once you do, you can get a mount. Because I'm too lazy to walk and it takes too long, really. Nah, I've got Rise of Isengard expansion, so I had this horse in my inventory the whole time. If you don't have the expansion, you're not going to have this horse, you're going to have the other horse, which is, you click your blue bag one more time, and it'll, oh, never mind, the red bag's already out, this bag right here. There's a whistle in it. Temporary horse, 24 hours, real time, so if you log out for like 10 hours, you're going to have 10 hours missing from it. Oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. Yay. Oh, son of a bitch. I didn't mean to actually hit that. Oh, one great tip if you're not, you're probably not new load crew if you don't know this though, so. Jump in water, you go faster. Ta da! I just have to kill one pig, then I turn this in and I go to that spider den quest behind uh, our cat. How can I be of service? Okay, good tip when you're in the cave is to go get the queen right away. She's the spider queen. That's how I call her. You're going to want to go for it right away, even though you haven't picked up the quest, and even though you're still doing the quest where you gather papers. This is the good time to get it. I'll show you why in a second. Okay, one you loot. Look in the right to the right, you'll see this little icon over here. Click on it and voila, you can pick up the quest. Save yourself a step. That's what I don't like about this fucking place. You have to basically run in and out this damn door because you have 30 or 40 spiders on you. Honestly, it's the stupidest thing I've ever seen by a game developer putting the most spiders than any other area in any level 1 to 50 of spiders. It's ridiculous. So I made it back in. I ran back in. Because I had so many spiders chasing me.
Will you give me a moment of your time, friend? Alright, elite time. Now what I'm doing here is I'm gonna kite them. I just kite the elite. Put another slow on. Keep kiting. Hope my bird gets a flank. It's basically what it's about. Flank healing. Earlier on it's not as easy. Birds over there. There we go. Let's keep the slow on. And from there, it's pretty easy actually. For any elite. Now, the more health they have, obviously, the longer that's going to take for kiting and stuff. And other pets will come in handy for that. We're in Chetwood right now. Level 8. You know, a lot of people I see asking for help for this area. This area is actually very easy to solo on almost every class, really. It's actually not that easy on some class. It depends on what class you're playing. I'm playing Lore Master, so this will be easy. I'm just going to wait for my health. My health is full now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have... Uh, where is he? There he is. Okay, I'm going to come from this angle. I'm just going to send my pet in. As soon as my pet has aggro, everyone's on my pet. Loot the chest as fast as you can, and it's looted just as the pet dies. Now, if you hesitate too long, that won't. They'll interrupt your induction. See, I finished that quest without any help really quickly. Okay, turning the quests back in in comb, I should be pretty much level 10 by now. Turn all these other quests too. And I'm going for the health instead of the power because Lore Master is really squishy at low levels. You've got way way more survivability at higher levels but just not at low all right let's go see what we've got at our trainer for level 10 awesome actually we got one of our most powerful skills uh, besides healing, of course. Alright, I'm going to put that in my card control. Just make a row for card control because I need to. Okay, I'm going to find an enemy and show you what crowd, uh, this skill does. That's right, I can use it on the chickens. Huh. Okay, blinding flesh. You can trait to have no induction if you want. For blinding flash, basically, as you can see, stuns the chicken. Four. I gotta move this over six so suit. The chicken stunned for uh, 30 seconds. Now the cooldown on blinding flash is really, really short. It's 15 seconds. So we can, before it gets unstunned, we can blind flash again. It just overlays the other one, so bingo. I, if I keep repeating that, the chicken should be stunned, unless of course it missed like it just did now. Usually it doesn't miss. You can have your enemy stunned for a long time. Now the reason it's not overpowered is because it breaks on damage, and it's really tricky just to have three guys stunned at once, so it's not really overpowered. Destroy the chicken. We should call this like chicken apocalypse or something. 
Boom. <laughs> he jumps up. All right, guys, that's all we have for right now. Thank you for watching Let's Play Lore Master. I'll have more of this leveling as soon as I uh, make the next video. Thanks for watching.